What's up, y'all, and welcome back to the Crypto Wire. Today, we got somebody getting 11,000 years for a $2 billion scam. And this is the uh, CEO of Thor or Thodex. When I say 11,000 years, I have never heard of anyone getting sentenced to 11,000 years, except this guy. So, the former CEO of Turkish crypto exchange, Theodex, was sentenced to 11,196 years in prison by a Turkish court on charges of establishing, managing, and being a member of an organization qualified fraud and laundering of property values. The ninth high criminal court sentenced him with his two siblings in the same jail sentence for 11,196 years, 10 months and 15 days in prison, along with a $5 million fine. So, okay, that right there, if they, if they sold over $2 billion in crypto and all they got is a $5 million fine, and no one is going to do 11,000 years. We don't even live that long, clearly. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure their family is very wealthy and has tons of money. So, I mean, you gotta think that some people will take this prison sentence time to make sure that their family is taken care of for generations. Um, that could have been possibly what he was trying to do, or he was just greedy like Sam Bankman fraud clearly so here he says i'm smart enough to manage all institutions in the world this is even evident from the company i founded at the age of 22 or if i were to establish a criminal organization i would not act so amateurishly <laughs> what is in question is it clear that the suspects in the file have been victims for more than two years possibly but at the end of the day, you still stole two billion and the jail sentence again is just ridiculous. Like eleven thousand years. Come on now. Next. Ever since Ripple uh won their case against the SEC, they've been making a lot of moves. Um they've been in the news pretty much every single day for something different. And now today's story is that Ripple acquires crypto focused chartered trust company, Fortress Trust. And there is no uh, amount that was that was disclosed, but s somebody who has information and knowledge on the matter said that the price tag was less than the 250 million it paid for custody firm Medico in May. So they got a much better deal, you know, buying a Fortress Trust. So blockchain firm Ripple has acquired Fortress Trust, a Nevada-based charter trust company with a crypto and Web3 focus, the company said in an email on Friday. Financial terms of the acquisition were not disclosed. Ripple declined to disclose further details when contacted by Coindesk. But like I said, a person with knowledge said it was $250 million less than what they paid for Medico in May. So, Fortress Trust, which provides financial and regulatory structure for blockchain companies, was formed by Scott Purcell, who has a long time history in the industry he was CEO of Crypto Custodian Prime Trust until 2020. And years after he left Prime Trust, the company was ordered into receivership after fellow custodian BitGo terminated its proposed acquisition of the firm. Now, Monica Long, which is Ripple's president, described the acquisition as bolstering the firm's aim of becoming the one-stop shop for enterprises looking to convert, store, and move value on blockchain. Ripple? I don't know when a, when a uh, bull market return, I, th I see Ripple going crazy. So I don't know. I might want to pick up some more Ripple. Now, this has been a question on everybody everybody's mind this week. Uh, why is the crypto market down this week? So most of the reasons are because of spot ETF delays, a strengthening U.S. dollar, and increasing regulatory pressure are all adding to this week's crypto market performance, which I've been noticing that exactly so now it says here are the reasons why the crypto market is down this week so investor expectations of a spot bitcoin etf approval had been high especially with heavyweight endorsements and applications from blackrock and fidelity however these hopes were dashed as the sec continued to delay its decision citing concerns over insufficient safeguards against manipulation now despite the delays Banek and ARK Invest have officially applied for spot 
Ethereum ETFs, the September 6th filing start the clock for the SEC to make a decision. An estimated deadline for this decision is May 23rd, 2024, right before the halving, well, right after the halving. And uh, also, Alpha Grayscale was able to win against the SEC in a U.S. appeals court. The Grayscale Bitcoin Trust discount is still hovering at 20% as the SEC weighs appealing the court's decision. While analysts believe ETFs are bullish in the long term, the market has not sustained such short term momentum. And you can see it clearly because any negative information that comes out definitely affects the market. Now that we've went over most of the breaking crypto news that you guys definitely want to know, uh, I want to follow up on Demo and the earning Demo part, okay? So we don't need to go through the website. I want to jump over here to uh, docs.demo.zone where you can pretty much learn everything. Now, I'm down here on the left at earning Demo because I was asked by somebody in my community, you know, some uh, questions as far as the total supply and things like that. So... I want to make sure that everybody un understands how this works. So, earning demo driver rewards will be based on a combination of baseline and market demand for vehicle data and connectivity. In the early stages of demo's development, the vast majority of rewards will come from baseline demand signals. As the network grows, this balance will likely shift from the other way, thus removing the need to inflate the circulating supply of demo in perpetuity. Now, this is a comparable to other Web3 networks like Helium, where their rewards from proof of coverage will shrink in comparison to rewards from data transfer over time. So rewards from baseline issuance. Right now, this is how we're getting our uh, weekly uh, token drops. So baseline issuance refers to the concept of rewarding drivers based on how long they've been connected and how they're connected, even if there is no end customer using their data. The goal here is to prime the network by incentivizing drivers to connect the types of cars and stream the types of data that we expect to be valuable to data customers and app developers in the future. Now, 450 million demo tokens, which is 45% of the total supply, has been allocated to the fund, the baseline issuance. The initial airdrop was effectively large distribution of baseline issuance and left 382,491 million, I mean, million 491,000 demo. This pool will be distributed over 40 years by issuing one over 1 million demo to users per week for the first year, with issuance decreasing by 15% each year. With this design, they aim to reward and give control to those who show long-term support for demo incentivize continuous data connection which tells a further story of driver behavior and vehicle performance when maintained over a long period of time reward those who provide a greater quantity and frequency of reliable data and avoid rewarding base on distance or time travel as not to incentivize unnecessary and wasteful driving so here's a, a nice little chart of uh how distributions are calculated in this issue. So first week, you'll be level one, four weeks, you'll reach level two, 21 weeks, level three, and then 36 weeks or more, level four. So the baseline rewards, stay connected to earn rewards. The longer you're connected, the more rewards you'll be eligible to earn. Driving more does not earn you more rewards. And like I said, they only re uh, require you to drive once a week. So again, if you want to get started with mining demo tokens from your vehicle earning passive income then i will leave the link to the demo website um, in the description and in the pinned comment and if you use my referral code right here on the screen then you will get 50 demo tokens once you connect your first device so you'll already be making a return on your investment and then after that every week thereafter so again, guys, I just wanted to make sure I came through with the latest and breaking news and made sure I followed up on a uh, demo. So at the end of the day, guys, I appreciate everybody who come through and spend time with us over here at the Crypto Wire. And until the next time, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.